Hello everybody, this is Roger from Roger's Reviews. And today we're going to be over, going over how to tighten up a chainsaw chain and <clears throat> the tools you're gonna need. Um, the first thing you're gonna need, of course, is a chainsaw. <laughs> and you're gonna need a chainsaw wrench. Some people call them a scrunch. And most of these scrunches have uh, basically two sizes of uh, nut drivers on them. And usually these will fit most of your common saws, like your steel and Husqvarna saws. <clears throat> the only one I've seen that doesn't fit, Echo has a weird size, but they send a smaller um, saw wrench with theirs. And also too, on some of these saws, the newer ones, they actually have a saw wrench built in. And this one is gone, I believe, or actually, this one might have it still. Put a piece of tape on it so it won't fall off. But some of your newer saws actually was cool. They actually have a saw wrench built right into the uh, saw. I put a piece of tape on it so it wouldn't fall out. But here's a kind of a weird looking saw wrench here. And you can use, but this is your standard one. But I think it's cool that they're starting to add saw wrenches. Um, to tighten up your blade and as you can see I normally use a gas powered saw like steel or husky but I just tried out these green work saws and I actually recommend them for especially homeowners someone that doesn't do a lot of tree work um, or if you're doing uh, some crane work and you just want a saw that's not going to make any noise and you can actually get uh, just a few cuts out of it and switch out batteries. But as long as it's not raining out, because last time I used it, so it was pouring down rain, it actually stopped the saw, which sometimes it even stops the bigger saws and the gas powered saws. So first thing you want to do, I'm going to take the battery out because uh, if you disconnect it and hit a few buttons, you can actually turn this thing on. But <clears throat> first of all, you want to make sure you have the right uh, tightness to your chain. I like mine a little bit loose like this because a lot of people, they, um, they get their chain too tight and it puts it on a bond. You actually want a little bit of slop in your chain. And another mistake that a lot of people make too is they um, get the chain too tight before they tighten the nuts on the, on the chainsaw. So basically what you want to do um, especially on uh, gas powered saws, you want to make sure that your chain brake is released because if you don't, <clears throat> it's going to basically affect the tightness of your chain. So basically what you want to do is you want to loosen up these two nuts on the side here and this will release the um, chain and allow you to tighten it or loosen it. And, some, and you don't want to use a tremendous amount of force. And what I tell my guys is you should be able to tighten it down here. Don't go up here and tighten it. This, this top part of the saw wrench should only be used when you're loosening um, your saw. Because a lot of times what you'll do is you'll strip out the studs and the studs will pull out. And then you're going to have a whole other problem on your hands. So once you get these loose and you pull back your chain brake, you should hear it click, okay? And then, like I said, this is an electric one, so I'll go over my gas saw as well. Once this is loosened up, normally in the middle of the saw right here, there is a chain tensioner screw. And you can actually, most of these are counterclockwise, they loosen the chain, and uh, clockwise, they tighten the chain. So as you're tightening, you can see the chain basically getting tighter and tighter. If you can see that. See how it gets tighter and tighter? Okay. You might some people you want to you might want to hold the bar up. So basically what you want to do is you want to keep a little bit of slop on your on your chain when you're tightening it. And you want to move it around. Okay. So that way if you got a little bit of looseness, just enough 
then you want to tighten your bolts because what's going to happen is as the as these bolts are tightened it's going to tighten up your chain a little bit so you want to leave it a little bit sloppy and then tighten your nuts up just hand tighten them first and make sure your chain brick is off because it won't allow you to um, tighten them and also too you always want always want to make your especially on the gas parts always you want to make this is make sure your chain brake is released because I've had guys lock their um, their uh, chain brake and then they try to take off the cover plate and they ruin the saw this this mechanism right here on a gas saw a lot of times it'll come apart because of what it's doing it's locking down and when you try to pull it off guys will pry it off wondering why they can't get it off and they actually ruin the cover. So don't do that. <laughs> Make sure you always get that click back. If this side cover doesn't come off, you're trying to pull the side cover off, always make sure you got that chain break loose. And check it a few times because it's very expensive to get fixed. And sometimes it'll ruin the saw. So again, when you're tightening, see how that tightens back up as you're tightening? And then you only want to use down here you don't want to use a lot of leverage that's all the leverage you need is right there if you come up here and start cranking down on it you're going to get them too tight and then the next time you go to loosen them <clears throat> you might pull your studs out or you end up stripping the saw so a lot of people make that mistake so i always try to just snug it up from the bottom and i never put any pressure up here when i'm tightening just down here so you just want to snug and then you want to snug snug and to go back and forth just snug it up and that's it and your chains nice and tight it's not too tight see you always want a little bit of slop there if you don't have that slop when you turn the saw on you'll hear it and it'll be binding in like on the on the on the uh, bar and it wears your bars out quicker and you'll and it'll also have less power because all it's doing is just like a bicycle chain if you make it super super tight all that pressure is pulling down on the sprockets and it wears the saw out quicker and then if you run out of oil and it doesn't oil it's even going to be worse so on this saw here all you have to do is put a battery in it and then you just add um, bar oil right here and that's it so i recommend this to somebody that's not really familiar with chainsaws and they don't know how to maintenance them and it's the future because once the batteries get better, eventually most of your homeowner saws and even some of your professional saws are going to go electric because there's just so much less maintenance to them. You know, there's no clutch. There's no, uh, not as many moving parts. There's no carburetor or nothing. So um, I actually prefer these on certain jobs because um, you want it to be quiet. You want to hear what you're doing and uh, you just have less maintenance. And newer guys, that aren't familiar with saws a lot of times they'll ruin your saw because they'll pull the cord too hard or they'll choke it wrong and flood it out sometimes it's better to start them off with one of these and then that way they can uh, learn from this and then step up to the gas saws and also too they'll be familiar so basically when uh, the saws get <clears throat> better and the batteries get better uh, these will be more more of the saws that uh, we'll have uh, in our arsenal and we'll be using these more and more in the future so nothing wrong with this saw the battery just doesn't last long enough once the batteries get better i'll start using them more and more so any of the this is anyway this is roger with roger's reviews on how to sharpen i mean <laughs> how to tighten um, a chainsaw uh, bar and chain and later on we can go over sharpening but i just wanted to make one quick video on that and I'll make another one for the gas saws, which is very similar. Um, basically it's the same setup. Um, the only difference between these is basically this doesn't have a clutch. This has like an electronic shut off. Uh, the other ones you have to be more careful with because the you know, mechanical uh, brake will actually get in, uh, get damaged if you try to pry the side cover off. So if you like this review, please crush the like button and subscribe and we'll bring you more saw maintenance. Have a great day.